Welcome back to my video. This is Daniel Plays. A little different today. I have some replays I'd like to show you. I don't really have time to uh, record some of these live, live gameplay. But uh, this replay is kind of important, or special at least. I ended up getting a legendary chest from this battle, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. As you can tell from the, uh, the intro. So, first off the bat, I know that that Lava Hound is quite expensive. So I decided to go ahead and just fully attack the other lane in hopes that uh, you know it doesn't back up that lava hound with anything. And more importantly, hope that I can just rush the, the other side and take that tower out. Uh, seeing how he didn't back anything up after that, I figured why not just continue. That lava hound alone uh, is not gonna take out my tower anytime soon. So I figured, all right, let's just continue the pressure. Why not? So. Um, what does do damage is those lava pups. So I make sure that right before it pops, I throw all my, uh, well, especially especially on rage, I throw out my minions just to assist with the cleanup. There we go. As you can see, I already tucked his uh, king tower down about half. So um, yeah, his, uh, the fact that he has a level two legendary and then he's one level higher than me didn't really help out just because of uh, his gameplay. The level 10 Tommy's right there with his minion horde. Like I said, I just go on the offensive, go on the attack. I'm hoping to uh, take his tower out. I'm not too worried about losing that one tower. Uh, I I'll, don't mind trading that one tower for three. That would be something that I exchange all day, every day if I have the ability to. I think I dropped the uh, giant with the wizard uh, on his side of the base. To get closer to double elixir. There we go. And uh, he's pretty slick. I like the fact that he dropped that lava hound right there, knowing that he's gonna take my wizard out. But I mean, if he had anything to drop the giant, take a couple hits, and that's all she wrote. Not the best gameplay ever on his part. Probably mine either, but uh, Ajax from our clans, thank you very much for that battle. I ended up taking a 3 to 1 crown victory, and that actually got me a legendary chest. I haven't opened it yet, but um, I will eventually. Remember, my plan is to get a whole bunch of high level chests uh, in all my chest slots. I just think that might be, that might look cool. That was actually my 912th win. So I'm not sure if that matters. Not sure if uh, everyone gets a legendary chest at 912 wins. But uh, that just happened to be my 912th victory. Uh, another replay I wanted to show you was actually for my mini account. Uh, I, named, I named it Donator. I originally just started the account just so I can donate to my main account. It's kind of hard to to try to get all these uh, all these troops leveled up without anybody donating. And then you know, as a while you start playing and you start building up that deck and you start wanting to play with that account. This is one one replay for the ages, at least as far as all the battles I've had. Um, I'm not sure how TV Royale decides which battles to pick and uh, which ones to show off and advertise or whatnot, but I thought for sure this one would be uh, would be TV Royale, uh, TV Royale worthy. Uh, apparently not. I still check every day. I don't know how long it takes for them to actually show the replay from when it was actually completed. I'm, I'm checking. As you can see, I'm here. I'm not happy with my skeleton. Thinking it's gonna drop a big bomb on the tower and tornado. I should have known. Uh, usually, if you if you play somebody who has executioner, they usually have that tornado. Good, good combo. Here we go, the bandit. Valkyrie. Valkyrie's just like I said, so beast. I already think I can go OP. Just too strong. And I don't know why I dropped those minions right there, but. Needless to say, I believe uh, the outcome is all that matters. Let's see what we did next. <laughs> I just took that that damage. Executioner, man, I don't care what level that's. That thing is scary. Skeleton army to stop that Pekka or the mini Pekka. Hold me back. What are we gonna do? get to that tower, get death damage. He drops that furnace off to the left hand side. I pretty much just ignore it. I just want to attack that right hand lane. 
Uh, I'll take all that damage. I know it's going to damage my tower. It'll chip away here and there, but I'm really hoping that I can just take out his tower and put some uh, pressure on him. That's pretty much the best combo I have with this deck. It'll be the Valkyrie with the Hog Rider behind it, pushing it. But, as you can see, it doesn't do much when you get a minion horde thrown over you. Now, I actually didn't see the Bandit in here. I actually just threw the Skeleton Army just to uh, pretty much st stop or slow down the minion horde. So the Bandit didn't get a hit on my min on my, uh, on my Princess Tower. Here we go again. Hope we get the push. Wizard's pretty good against this uh, Fire Spirits that are that are created from the furnace. And here I go. I try to sneak my little Hog Rider in. Here goes the arrows. Okay, I get some damage on this tower. 602. Thinking I'm looking like a stud. I got this one in the bag. How can I lose? Right here. I don't know why I dropped that Ice Wizard so far away, but that, that messed everything up. Uh, yeah. 280. Not looking very good. So, uh, all that cockiness I just had just a second ago is kind of going away. Um, now I'm worried. How am I going to stop this push? Are you barbarian? Uh, I'm not too worried. Why? Skeleton uh, death damage will take care of them. Right? Wait. Where are they going? Where are they going? No! Stop a wizard! One. Oh. Push forward. Push forward. I don't need that executioner's axe to hit that. One HP left on that princess tower. Come on! Thank God he didn't have any direct damage or this this match would have been done. I wanted to drop my hog rider, but I needed to wait for seven elixir so I could throw my uh, my arrows because I thought he threw all down his uh, skeleton army. There goes the arrows, one hit from the hog rider. That's all you have. Oh my goodness, one HP. I mean, has anybody have that that hasn't been on TV Royale? Probably, but I thought it was a uh, deserving of a TV Royale. And it wasn't. Here's a deck that they use. This is a deck that I use on my uh, mini account. Once again, one spell card. Not sure if that's the downfall, but I do have the same issue uh, as my main account. Not being able to get wins. Uh, this is actually from a clan mate, Royo. Now, I don't know how to use the Infernal Dragon, so I just don't. But for some reason, he, he loves a double Infernal Dragon attack. And I just wanted to show this to you because, I mean, it works for him. There goes one, here comes a mirror, and I mean right away my first thought is why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, they're not they're not the strongest in my opinion. I mean you gotta make sure that they stay there so they can actually heat up and do some damage. But in reality, this witch alone would have caused it problems had it been on the other side. But he ends up, you know, taking out the witch. I'm totally gonna ignore that balloon just decimating that tower to the left hand side. But here he comes. Prince can do some damage. There goes the second Eternal Dragon, pulling down that uh, Ice Wizard. And here we go. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Dark Prince comes along, finish off the job. Looks like this guy just quit, but I mean, he was just overwhelmed. Like I said, it works for some people, it definitely does not work for me. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this last video. That was the last replay I'm going to show on, the, on this video anyways. There's his deck composition. Feel free to try it out. Like I said, it works for him. I've tried it out. It does not work for me. Then again, I don't have a, a miner. I do use Zap. Uh, just uh, kind of show you what I've been up to as far as activity goes. Still not doing the best. Once again, I haven't changed up my deck. I know I need to change it up. But uh, it seems like I'm exchanging almost one loss for, I mean, one win for three losses, which isn't, isn't the best. A double elixir, I, a double elixir challenge, I actually got three straight losses. Didn't even get one win. That, that was kind of horrible. I was really looking forward to all that gold. But uh, no gold for me. As you can see, more losses than wins. But, uh, just keep playing, try to get better. That's all I can do. Eventually, I'll open up that legendary chest. It's gonna take one day. As you can see, there goes uh, one of my giant chests. Can't wait. Probably open it on another uh, future video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time.